Welcome to an easel card set tutorial. I'm Shari Filomohala here at the Graphic 45 headquarters and today I'm going to teach you how to create a set of easel cards using our come one come all paper collection. These cards are very special to us this month uh, because they were created for us by Ginger Rupp of my sister Scrapper. Ginger unfortunately uh, passed away a few weeks ago due to complications due to COVID and these are the last uh, cards that she created for us for our card club. So we um, are really looking forward to celebrating Ginger's uh, creativity and uh, her life while creating these cards this month. Uh, we were honored to get to share Ginger's work um, for uh, the past um, eight or so years on our blog and then um, she's been a the creator of our cards for our G45 card club um, since we started about two years ago so we've got to work together a lot with Ginger and really got to share her brilliant ideas and creativity and um, we're just absolutely honored to have had that chance to um, get to share her work and to get to know Ginger the way we did um, so uh, we are looking forward to sharing these last card set with you this month. So in the tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create three different templates. And then uh, using those templates, I will show you how to create three more cards. So you'll create a total of six cards with your uh, card club kit. These Cards um, are featuring our fun and fabulous new Come One, Come All 8x8 paper collection, along with our uh, great uh, cardstock, square, bases, and envelopes. You get six of each of those in there, along with the Come One, Come All ephemera assortments, our Graphic 45 matte pearl gems, a project sheet, and a bag to store all your goodies in. So if you're already a G45 Card Club subscriber, you can just pull out your kit and start working with me today. Otherwise, you can go to our website, g45papers.com, to pick up the kit or become a subscriber. Or of course, you can always head down to your local G45 retailer to grab the supplies as well. And always, we encourage you, even if you're not a subscriber or you don't have the kit, to grab what you do have in your stash to create along with us to learn some of these fun new techniques. So to do that, I would just encourage you to grab some gorgeous patterned papers, some uh, fun embellishments, and if you have any little pearl gems, that could be a fun way to embellish as well. So go ahead, grab your supplies, and let's start creating these amazing cards by Ginger Rob. The first thing we want to do when creating our easel cards is do a little bit of scoring on our card bases. So we're going to grab our card bases and a scoreboard and a bone folder and we are going to score these. Um, but if you are creating your card bases from scratch, you'll want to go ahead and cut your card bases to be 11 inches by five and a half. You will score at the five and a half inch mark to create these card bases. Once you've created your card bases, you'll be at this step with us where we're creating our little easel action now. So I've got this in the long ways. So I've got it in the 11 inch ways and I'm going to score at two and three quarters of an inch. And because these card bases are nice, thick cardstock, I'm just going to score that a few times making sure I get a really good crease before I burnish my fold. So you will do that with all your card bases. So we're going to grab our project sheet and our card base that's already been scored for us. If you're uh, just following along at home without the kit, you can always print out our project sheets from our website, g45papers.com. If you go up to the top right hand side, there's an inspiration tab. Click on that and go down to project sheets. Uh, there you will find over 30 different printable project sheets like this one that you can follow along with. So let's start creating our card one. 
Step one, card one, we are going to take step right up and we've cut this piece to be five and a quarter by five and a quarter. And like Ginger always said, that adhesive is a personal choice. So you grab your favorite and adhere down this to the inside of your card base. I'm using some art glitter glue, but you know, Ginger always loved some double-sided adhesive score tape. So you use, you do you and adhere this to the inside, our ditzy print side up. As per usual, I like to have a damp paper towel or towel next to my crafting station and I can just clean up my edges. Next, I'm just gonna pour my ephemera assortment pieces into a container. I'm using just a graphic 45 box that I've decorated, but a bowl or anything you've got will work. And that's gonna help you sift through to find our different pieces that we're going to be using. Next up is this marvelous banner. Add some foam adhesive to the back of this marvelous piece. And this is going to adhere in the center bottom of our inside card. And I want the lowest part of my banner to be about a half of an inch from the bottom and the center. So just kind of eyeballing its placement. We can test this out and see how we like it, but that is looking pretty good. And then from our matte pearl gems, I'm gonna take two of our medium gold gems and adhere them to the insides of my flowers on my banners. So they're a little bit staggered, but that adds a cute little dimensional detail. I just added a drop of liquid adhesive to where I want these to go, just so I make sure that these will stay in place while my card's being used as an easel. Step three, we've taken the B side of come one, come all, and we've cut it to be five and a quarter by five and a quarter. And we've cut that pieces into two. So it ends up being five and a quarter by two and five eighths. Then I'm just going to lay my card flat like this and adhere those two pieces onto the front of my card base. Making sure you don't go over that center score line so it still folds beautifully. Step four, from the get your tickets paper, we're gonna trim out this step right up border. And then we're gonna trim it to be five and a quarter of an inch. However, that's how Ginger did it and it looks beautiful. But I'm going to have mine go all the way edge to edge so I can have my whole sentiment step right up in there without it being cut off. So just trim off that edge and then add some foam adhesive and add that to the bottom about a fourth of an inch. Next, we're gonna grab our largest ephemera piece, attractions, prizes, rides, games, and we are going to um, measure to fit this to our card base. So we don't want it to extend over the top of here. So we do need to note that I'm gonna be cutting this just right where my um, little square corners stop. So I'm just gonna cut this straight across. Like so. So then after you cut off that bottom section, we're just going to add adhesive to the bottom area, making sure it doesn't adhere onto our top um, half. So mine's just about uh, the bottom two inches here and can find my center like so and adhere it down. Now when we easel it up, it will have a nice little three dimension frame. So next up, we are gonna grab three hearts from our ephemera pack. However, my ephemera pack, I might have spilled out my hearts while I was opening it up or lost it in transit. So I can't find two of the three hearts, 
which is not a problem because I've got lots of extra papers, including this fun and games paper that matches perfectly. So I'm just gonna cut out my own little hearts. So I've just taken, I don't know, about an inch and a half, an inch scrap piece of paper and folded a little portion in half. And now I'm just going to cut out my own little heart. And I just want this to be a total of about an inch large, maybe even slightly smaller. I think these sizes look good since they're nice and staggering. And then if you want to go the extra mile, you can always just ink those little edges to make those homemade hearts just a little neater. So to our largest heart, I've just added some wet adhesive there and this is going to adhere just in our top right hand corner of our ephemera piece. And then our two smaller hearts, I've just added some foam adhesive and these are going to just be popped up on the bottom portion of our card. So we have some cute little heart decorations going on. And then the last thing that we want to do is add some of these little beads of our gems. So I'm going to put one dot there and one here and add my gems just on top. Like so. And then take one of those small gems and add it to the center of your flower on your ephemera. And now we're gonna decorate our envelopes. So from our border page, get your tickets. We are gonna cut out this border here and adhere it about an inch from the bottom of our envelope. And then from our ephemera card pack, we've got these admit one tickets. I'm gonna pull one off and adhere it onto the bottom right-hand side of our envelope, just over our border. So there you have it. We have decorated our card number one and envelope number one. And then using that same template, here is what we have done using our Flora Gala paper. So we have a border again from Get Your Tickets, Flora Gala on the front with these fun ephemera pieces. And then inside we've got the B side of Floral Gala and another ephemera banner piece and another cut apart. And then we've used another border to decorate this envelope with a let's have fun tag. Card number two, it's got this cute tightrope walker with her parasol and a come one, come all sentiment inside. Step one from card two, we have the B side of fun and games and we have cut this to be five and a quarter by five and a quarter. Add your adhesive and adhere this to the inside of our card base. And this card and envelope set are going to feature the following ephemera assortment pieces. So if it's easier for you, like it is for me, you can grab all five of these pieces now. Next, we're gonna add some foam adhesive to the back of our come one and come all label piece. And then we're gonna take our flourish and this is just gonna be cut right in half, like so. And then just add some nice beads of liquid adhesive to your flourish and adhere it about three quarters of an inch from the bottom, from either edge. And then taking that foam adhesive piece, we can adhere this right in the center. Add some drops of liquid adhesive next to those holes. And then we're just gonna put our gold 
medium sized dots just right over those holes. Step three from Get Your Ticket, trim out this border section to be uh, five and a quarter inch by two and a half inches. And then this adheres right on the bottom center, the bottom panel centered like so. And then grab your tightrope walker, add some adhesive just to her foot and the bottom line. And she is gonna go in the center, just about where those blue beads are. Step four from the B side of Fun and Games, we've cut this piece to be five and a quarter by two and five eighths. And it's going to adhere on our top portion in the center making sure again that we don't go over our score line. Add foam adhesive to the back of your tag and this is just going to go on the right hand side of our top section and then we've added some more foam adhesive to our little square, our little floral label piece and this is gonna go in our top left-hand corner like so. Next, we're gonna add our silver matte pearl gems. And now to decorate our envelope, we've taken another one of those border strips from our border paper and added it to the bottom of our envelope. And now we're taking this cute little number ephemera piece and adhering it on to the front, just in the bottom. So what do you think of card number two? I think Ginger really did such a fantastic job with these cards, really showing us how to utilize uh, the ephemera assortments and these pearl gems to their fullest, which I know Ginger was always so great at doing. Um, also in the comments, we'd love to hear what your favorite um, project of Ginger's is or favorite cards that you've uh, done if you're one of our uh, card subscribers. Uh, we'd love to hear uh, just how she touched your life too. And then using that same template, uh, this is how we've done up the other example. This is polka dot is from the B side of the big show as well as this cute little black paper. And then we've got some more of our borders from our border page. These are ephemera pieces we're using. Some more matte pearl gems. And then the inside is uh, the B side of fun and games, another border strip and another ephemera piece and silver gems. And then that envelope to coordinate with it. So stinking cute with the little big top tent and this flourish. Card number three. Step one for card three, we're gonna take the big show and cut this to be five and a quarter by five and a quarter. Adhere that to the inside of your card. Step two from get your tickets, we're gonna trim out this red stripe border to be five and a quarter inch. And then we're going to adhere this about an inch from the bottom. And for this card, these are the ephemera pieces we are going to be using this go around. Once you grab all those pieces, add some foam adhesive to the back of this cute little label holder. And that's gonna go right in the center of our card base over our border. Add some matte pearl gems. Step three from the B side of That's Incredible, cut this piece to be five and a quarter by five and a quarter. And then cut it in half so you have two pieces that measure five and a quarter by five, nope, by two and five eighths. Then adhere those to the front of your card, making sure you leave that score line free to bend. Step four, from the B side of Big Show, we've cut this piece to be three and a quarter by two and a quarter, and we are going to adhere it to flush at the bottom of our upper diamond piece right in the center, making sure, again, we don't go over that score line. 
like so. From Get Your Tickets, we've cut this large ticket border to be five and a quarter inch, and we will adhere it. So it's about a half of an inch from the top uh, score line here. And then we're going to add foam adhesive to the bottom of our blue carousel ephemera assortment piece. And this is just going to go making sure we are not gluing over our score lines. So I can see now that I'm folded here that everything is in a good placement and just going to scooch it over just a little bit. Okay, now that I've got it in the center and it pops up beautifully, we can go ahead and burnish that down. Add some foam adhesive to our Big Show bubble and that's going to go right in the top right hand of our black circle. And then we're going to take these two blue ephemera banner pieces and those are going to adhere like so on a diagonal. And then just add those gold matte pearl gems like you see here. And we have finished our card number three. To decorate this envelope, we are taking another one of those borders from our Take Your Tickets paper and trimming to fit onto our envelope. And then this is just um, a scrap left over from the signature page of Come One, Come All. And I've just cut around my ticket. And now I'm just gonna fussy cut around my edges. So keeping it nice and simple. I'm using those fine tip scissors. I just got a new pair, which I'm so excited about. These ones are from scrapbook.com, so so far so good and then i can add my adhesive and adhere my ticket just right over the word ticket and then taking uh, the same template here's what you can create with your leftovers for your sixth card so this is uh, the stripe from come one come all uh, we've got our uh, the Big Show polka dot. This red flourish here is from Step Right Up. This gold rectangle back here is from Floral Gala. And then if we open this up, you can see we've got this gorgeous blue paper here. That is from our first prize. Just another stunning card with a Ferris wheel ephemera assortment, a nice floral tag, another hello bubble, and some banners. So there you have it. We have now completed our volume 10 G45 card club kit. This is of course our last kit from Ginger and we are just so thankful to have got to work with her and share these gorgeous designs and cards with you. Um, for the last two years. We thank you so much for joining us. Um, if you've created these cards, I would love to see what you've created. So you can go ahead and share with us on Instagram using that graphic 45 hashtag, or you can leave in the comments, um, which, which is your favorite card or what paper collection you use. We'd always love to hear from you. So thank you so much for joining us for this very special tutorial. Um, we hope you're staying safe out there and as always, happy paper crafting.